Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Firebase. Today we are going to learn about the cloud messaging API legacy disabled or facing this issue like error loading for the Google API. So how to solve this issue and what exactly we have to do to resolve this issue and how to send the push notifications using the Firebase. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So you have to watch my this playlist, new Firebase push notifications to get deeper dive into this, how to solve this one. So basically this is disabled. So you are not able to use it. First question, first answer. So this is, you don't, don't need to worry about this because this is not going to be used now because it's disabled by Firebase. Now we are going to use the Firebase Cloud Messaging API to send the push notifications. But the thing is, without server key, are we able to send this? Yes. Without server key, we are able to send this push notifications. Okay. So I will show you how. This is my Next.js project. I will show this is the Next.js project. We have the FCM token. And now I'm going to send the push notifications like this. Okay, so send the notifications. Here you can see whenever multiple times the notification will go over here. What the necessity parameters? Token that is generated by the FCM. Okay, this is web push notifications, notification body and the title we have to send, then close it. Main thing that is you have to pass the authorization with bearer token, SS token. So basically, before we are sending the server key. Now we have to do the assess token key. That's the main difference. Okay. But to generate the assess token, that is the main question. How to generate that one? So if the number of comments is going to be more, then I will show you how to generate the assess token. Right. So do commenting on my video. So give a glimpse of that, how we are generating the assess token. So this is my Node.js application where I have been generating the assess token. I will show you. So here you can see that assess token. So this is the assess token, which I'm using for sending the push notifications. OK, so if you want me to show the code, so definitely you have to maximize the number of comments. Okay, so then I will showcase the how to do that one. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day. The code is based on the Node.js and Python we have. So whatever code you require, you just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much. Have a great day.